Have you ever gotten frustrated trying to align objects in a SketchUp model? Well, let's take a look at the Sketch Plus Align tool and see how we can solve some common issues when you're trying to align and adjust objects. So if we look in our model here, I grabbed some artwork from the 3D warehouse and placed it in the model, but I didn't do a great job at doing it. A couple of things I messed up. One, I have this piece of art floating off the wall, and this one's actually in the wall. And it can be really time consuming to use the move tool and to move each one of these pieces out properly. And also I wanna center align all of these. And natively, I would have to find the midpoint of that object, move it up, lock in that axis, and then infer to another. And I'd have to do this on every single one. Instead, we can use the align tool here in Sketch Plus. In this particular example, what we wanna do first is align all the incorrect items that are off the wall. So if this one's floating out, that's okay. We'll just put that there. But this one in the wall, I actually wanna move out. So I'm just gonna take the move tool and move this out. And the reason for that is whichever distance is on that, in this case, green axis, that's kind of the threshold or the, the spot that we want it to align to. Okay, so now we can take this space bar, hold down shift, and we can pre-select all of our artwork. From there, we'll go ahead and click on the Align tool located here. And notice what happens. We get sort of a cross that's on our toolbar here. And within this interface, we have a couple options. And if you're unsure of what to do, remember, you can always refer down in the bottom here to see what status your tool is at so that you can make any adjustments or use any modifier keys. In this particular example, we want them all to be flush against that back wall, which in this case is the green axis. So I'm just gonna move my cursor right over that little dot, that little guide point right there, and then I'm gonna click. The click will activate that tool, so now it physically moved those two items. Now from here, let's say I want to top align all of these. If I move to the blue and move right to that top point, it's gonna to top align all of those pieces. And it's always using the extents of your object. So because this small piece of art here is the top, it's gonna to move everything flush to there. Same thing with the bottom. Looks like these two are at the same position, so it's gonna move those there. You can go ahead and click to activate that. One other thing that you can do is on a PC, I can use control. So I can just press and release control. And then I can move up my cursor and now it's center aligning those so that each piece is centered on that. And that's more realistic to what I would do here in this situation. So now all the midpoints of the verticals of this piece of art are aligned. So I can just click to set that. When you're done, a good tip is just to hit the space bar. Then it'll close you out the tool and bring you back to the select tool. The other thing we can do is just simply move this up. So if I pre-select the items again, I can then take the move tool. I just don't wanna grab one of those anchor points. I just wanna click on it, move it up, so I'm in the blue. And I'm just gonna kind of eye it for the height that I need. That looks a lot better. Now, other ways that you could use this too. For example, I can go into this specific group I can select the rug and the couch. I can click the align tool. And then I'm gonna find that back green dot right there. So maybe I want that rug to move back so that it's on the back of the couch there. Then I can also press control and release. And if I go back, you'll see that red right there and there. That's centering the couch now on the rug. And then I can do the same thing, maybe for this. I'll also select the rug, and it's always gonna use the largest object here. So when I click align and then press control again, it's aligning at base center on the rug. While we're here, don't forget about the nudge tool. So you can actually click the nudge tool 
And then this is going to move in increments of one inch. So I can move it in the green. So I'm moving with the left arrow key or right arrow key and then up arrow key or down arrow key. So this is really helpful if we go back to our artwork. Let's say I needed to nudge this over a little bit. I can just press the tool, select the artwork, and then press the arrow key left or right. And again, always refer down to the status bar where you can see those different increments. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Mindsight Studios channel for more tips and tricks. You can also visit our website to find other extensions like Sketch Plus, Profile Builder, and Placemaker. Continue your SketchUp journey by watching one of our videos here on the right to learn more about what we offer. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.